welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ramchandar. In this video, I am going to talk about one more very important functional interface which was added in JDK 1.8 that is java.util.function.consumer. Now, this functional interface contains one method that is accept. The main intention of the consumer is accepting one value and performing some operations. Simply we can say consumer performs some operations on consumer performs some operations on given input given input value. The input value type may be integer or string or byte whatever it may be clear or not. Now consumer is one functional interface which contains one method which contains one method the syntax of the consumer looks like this functional functional interface and what is this public interface con, uh, interface name is consumer and it is having it is having one uh, abstract method what is that abstract method it will not return anything the method is what here type t yes so, it accept one value on top of the input value, it will performing some operations. Now, basically, why I am introducing this consumer here? Whenever we creating stream object by using off method, internally that off uses what here? Consumer interface. To understanding that a stream API result, a stream API related method like off, I am introducing the concept like what here? Consumer here. Now, observe here. How to work with the consumer here? Very simple consumer, consumer, it will uh, asking one input. Now, my input type is what here? Integer type consumer c equal to. Now, I am writing one lambda expression. This is what here lambda. So, this lambda will replace it with what here? Method like accept method. What type of input is it required? Integer type. What of the type we mention here? The same type we should write here. Okay. Now, whatever the input we are giving to this lambda nothing but whatever the input we are assigning to i on top of the input we are performing some operations what is that operation just uh, just printing the i value in the first line i am printing what here i value i value i value here i am printing what here i just without doing any operation i am just printing what here i value now observe guess so i want to read the i value from the command prompt so, that is what I am creating an object for scanner class scanner scan equal to new scanner of a system dot in. I am asking to the end user to enter some data. I am asking to the end user enter some data like uh, observe here enter some enter some value. Now, int value equal to there is a method like a scan dot uh, next int method after that observe here I am calling the method like a c dot c dot accept method by passing what uh, value. Now, let me execute this program. Now, scanner is going to read the value. What is that value? 15. That value will be read by next int method and place into value. That value I am passing, uh, that value I am sending to method like accept method. So, where is the accept method? This is the accept method that lambda internally replaced with the accept method. Whatever the value we sending that will be placed into i and finally, in the lambda expression, we printing the i value and getting the output like what here? 15. Now, I want to do some operation on top of the i. What is that operation? I want to find out the square of the i. I want to find out the square of the i. i square, square of i. i square value. Yes. Now, what is the i square value? For example, if I am writing like 55. Now, it will showing like what here? 30, 25. Now, for example, if I am printing like 55. Now, square. Now, what I am doing here? I want to write a square operation i into i. Yes. Now, observe here. Now, I am writing like 55. Now, it will showing what here 30, 25. 55 into 55, 30, 25. Now, I want to find out uh, square root. I want to find out the uh, square root of given number. I want to find out square root of given number i square root i square root. Then, how can we find out there is a method like math dot math is the predefined class in that we have a method like square root method sqrt sqrt what is that sqrt i now will you please observe here i am forwarding one value like what here 
25 as it is i value printed 25 square of the 25 625 and square root then 5.0 now if you want to perform any operation on top of the input to data we should go for concept like what here consumer understand or not sir is it mandatory to write like a integer every time no it can work with what your any type of data for example i'm writing like a consumer string consumer string c1 equal to consumer string c1 equal to open and closed parenthesis open and closed parenthesis and here i'm writing like a system dot out dot println consumer here i'm writing like here i'm writing like consumer okay now this lambda requires one input data string x now on top of this x i am printing just x value i am printing as it is x x value i am printing now lambda ended with what here semicolon now here i am reading some value from the keyboard enter enter some string enter some string how to read that string very simple string value 1 equal to scan dot scan dot next method scan dot next method scan dot next method string value 1 now this value 1 i am forwarding to whom observe c1 dot accept c1 dot accept value 1 now observe guys let me comment this code let me comment this code let me work with only consumer with a string consumer with a string let me uh, copy this code and paste here let me copy this code and paste here now execute the program now i am entering like what ram so ram read by what here next method and place it into where value 1 that value 1 we are forwarding to what here this ex after that we are printing now main intention of the consumer is whatever the data we inserting if you want to perform some operation what type of operation i am going to perform here very simple i want to find out the length I want to find out what here length of x. How to find out the length of x? X dot length method. Now, if I am typing like in the command prompt, I am enter like what here Ram Chandra. Then it will length showing like what here ten. Not only length of the program, I want to print the every character in capital letters. I want to print the um, output every letters in the capital letters. Very simple system dot out dot print. And what I am writing here uh, string in capital string in capital small string in capital letter here what i'm writing two uppercase two two uppercase now let me observe here here i'm writing like uh, n i t n i t so n i t i given like a capital letters let me give let me give small letters let me give what here small letters what happen n i t so n i t characters total characters are three and uh, it will showing in the form of what your capital letter so if you want to perform some particular operation on top of the input uh, then we should go for what your consumer and one more important point is it can allow any type of data but it will not won't returns anything it won't returns anything let me open consumer see the uh, documentation represented operation on accept a single input uh, returns what your accept accept a single input and doing some operation on top of what here single input and returns what here no result no result that we can go for what here then we can go for what here consumer okay this is uh, added in 1.8 i hope you understand the program related to consumer where we can use this consumer in the stream api that we will see in the coming videos i hope you understand this video for more videos please subscribe to channel thank you